Their dream of becoming football stars in Europe is over. For years, they were pushed from one club to the next. Most only played at the local level. Only a few lucky ones got to play for top clubs. For example, Baki Kone. He signed for Olympique Marseille in 2008 for around 10 million euros. He last played in Paris and Qatar. Nevertheless, he returned home to Ivory Coast because he was homesick. Most of his fellow countrymen couldn't understand his decision because he had succeeded at something that many youngsters only dream of. We all want to go to Europe. We watch the games, we see our friends and brothers leave, and we all hope that one day we can go to Europe and play football there. But it's not easy, especially for an African. But kids here still dream of playing in Europe. Baki Kone was scouted when he was only 11 years old. With youth unemployment at 30 percent, these boys hope they'll be picked too. But once in Europe, African players are at the mercy of the clubs. Their residence permits depend on the contract they have. Hopefully, these up-and-coming players at the Sol Beni Football Academy will fare better. 40 new youngsters have just arrived. They were discovered on the streets by the academy's coaches and managed to pass the entrance examination. Their training at the academy is free of charge. That includes normal schooling so that they can pass their final exams. But for many, maths classes are a distraction. Their goal is to do well on the pitch and then go to Europe. Their parents have high hopes for them. They're proud. They're happy to have their child attend one of the best football centers in Africa. They always encourage me when I return home over the weekend. I have the backing of my whole family. They're very satisfied with me. If a club wants me, I would leave immediately. That's all I want. It would be the best thing to play in Europe. Becoming a famous footballer is my dream. Baki Kone also trained at Salbeni. Today he works here as an advisor. He knows how much pressure families put on these young footballers. He says they should ignore that and build up their own self-confidence. Most importantly, Kone wants to protect them from rogue middlemen. Although the transfer of underage players is illegal, these go-betweens often find loopholes, for example, by passing the players off as students. Try to surround yourself only with good people and only take good advice. Those who tell you don't do that or that is good are not thinking of your well-being. Those who really mean well are often not directly there with you. Baki Kone has first-hand experience. People calling themselves agents lured young players to Europe without proper contracts. Around 3,000 young footballers are estimated to be living illegally in the suburbs of Paris. They are then left on their own. They stay in Europe because they do not want to come back. They are ashamed. And also, because they have made it to Europe, they'd rather look for another job and stay there. He hopes that won't happen to these players. Many want to go to Europe as soon as possible. Baki Kone wants to protect them from an uncertain future.